Welcome back to The Bible Says What? Today I will summarize Genesis chapter 49 where Jacob blesses some of his sons, curses other sons, and then passes away. Jacob called for all of his sons to gather around him so he could tell them what would happen to them in the future. Israel wanted to relay the information that God showed him to them. As they all gathered around, Jacob started pointing at some of his sons and telling them things. To Reuben, the firstborn son, he said, Even though you are my firstborn son, you are cursed because you slept with one of my concubines. Sorry. To Simeon and Levi, he said, You are cursed because you killed a whole town of people. Your anger and fury are so fierce that God will scatter you throughout the land. Sorry. To Judah, Israel said, you are blessed. Your brothers will praise you and your offspring, and you will crush your enemies. From your tribe will arise one who will be the lion of the tribe of Judah, and all nations will bow to him and obey him. He will bring his donkey and colt to the choicest branch, and he will wash his garments in blood from the winepress of the wrath of God. He will save and rule the nations. To Zebulun, he said, you will be blessed. You will live by the seashore, and your people will build harbors for ships. To Ishakar, he said, You are cursed. You are a donkey, and a lazy one at that. Because you are so lazy, your tribe will be slaves, and other people will make you work for them, and won't pay you for your work. Sorry. To Dan, he said, You will be blessed. You will provide justice for your people. You will be like a snake by the roadside that bites the horse's heels so your enemies will fall. To Gad, he said, you will be blessed. An army will rise up and overpower you, but in the end, you will be victorious. To Asher, he said, you will be blessed. You love to prepare food, and your food will be famous. You will prepare delicious food for many kings. To Naphtali, he said, you are blessed. You will be like a deer free in the woods, and the woman of your tribe will give birth to beautiful children. To Joseph, he said, you will be blessed. You and your tribe will be like a fruitful vine near a spring of water. You were attacked by wicked men, but you remained steady and true because the Lord was with you. The Lord will bless you greatly for this by allowing your tribe to become numerous with blessings from the skies and with blessings from the earth. Your blessings will be greater than all the blessings from all the ancient hills. Let all blessings come to Joseph the prince among his brothers. To Benjamin he said, you will be blessed. You will be like a wolf who devours his prey and you will crush and plunder your enemies. Jacob then gave his family instructions about what they should do about his dead body. He told them that he wanted to be buried in the same cave that Abraham, Isaac, Sarah, Rebekah, and Leah were buried. That cave was on the property that Abraham purchased from Ephron the Hittite. They all said that they would carry out his last wishes. Israel then told them all goodbye and said that he would see them all again in a few years. Then he died. The most important verse in this chapter is Genesis 49, 33, which states, And when Jacob had made an end of commanding his sons, he gathered up his feet into the bed and yielded up the ghost and was gathered unto his people. The thing I think the Lord wants us to understand after reading this chapter is the fact that we all reap what we sow. We can see Jacob's sons either getting blessed or cursed by their father for what they have done. Once we place our faith in Jesus and the Heavenly Father becomes our Father, the same thing will happen to us too. We will be judged by what we have done. Let that encourage us to do what is right, because it pleases God. Will you be blessed by God or will you be cursed? There isn't anything more important than the answer to this question. Repent for your sin and turn to Jesus for salvation so you don't have to pay the price yourself. Scripture says that the Father loved us so much that He sent His Son to pay that price 
and whosoever will believe in him will not perish in the lake of fire, but will have everlasting life in heaven. Ask the Lord to forgive you and save you. Trust that what Jesus did on the cross was to pay for your sin and believe the Father raised Jesus from the dead, and you will be saved. Make the choice to be saved today. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this episode, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share it with somebody. See you next time.